Hello, my fellow YouTubers and subscribers, and welcome to my latest movie review, where today I start reviewing a new series of movies, which uh, I've been planning to review for a long time, but never got around to it. The Die Hard movies, woohoo! Starring Bruce Willis. <laughs> uh, one of the most famous, or arguably the most famous, um, action movie franchise of all time. There's five movies currently. There's... Uh, Die Hard, Die Hard 2, Die Hard with a Vengeance, Die Hard 4, or 4.0, and A Good Day to Die Hard. I recently purchased this baby <laughs> on Amazon, and today we are going to be looking at the first movie, which is simply Die Hard, <laughs> released in 1988 and starring Bruce Willis and directed by John McTiernan. So, the basic plot of Die Hard is as follows. An NYPD officer tries to save his wife and several others taken hostage by German terrorists during a Christmas party at the Nakatomi Plaza in Los Angeles. There we go, that's the plot. <laughs> that's as basic as it gets. So, Die Hard. This movie is so, is so popular. Everybody loves this film. It is critically acclaimed. It was nominated for four Oscars, for God's sake. What do I think of it? I really did like this one. I thought it was good. It was a very entertaining ride. Do I think it's a masterpiece? No, I, I wouldn't call it that, but uh, it's certainly a very uh, impressive movie in, in certain regards, and it's a very fun time, you know, the, the, the plot isn't too um, innovative or riveting, but it's it's good enough for what this, this, this sort of story is, and it's definitely, uh, I suppose, one of the higher calibre action movies. There are some action franchises that just blow things up for the sake of it. This, this one does, does try to have... Um, witty dialogue, a cool story, good enough characters to, to follow. And this movie definitely has a heart to it, which I also appreciate. But centrally, it is an action movie. And the action itself, it's very, it's very good. I like the whole idea of it taking place in this one building, this sort of secluded building. It's as, it's as simple plot as a terrorist attack. And that's basically what it is. And I had a ton of fun watching this. It's a very slick, well-paced movie. It's edited like... A rocket. <laughs> it moves so quickly, and you're never going to be bored watching this movie, I can tell you that much. There is a fair amount of blood as well, and I, I appreciate the fact that this is a... It, it's not for kids, you know, it, it is a brutal movie, in the sense that there that there is a bit of blood and there's a lot of shooting. It's very violent. It is definitely one of the most violent movies, but it, that's, the, that's the point. That was the intention of of what they were doing. And all the action set pieces are terrific. Directed by John McTin and but like I said, it it does feel like one massive action set piece extended to two hours, and I think it actually is quite creative in that aspect. And the the set, the design of the building is very is very good, and it definitely works to the story's uh, favor. And you certainly feel the pressure that um, John McClane, the main character, is under when he's uh, in there trying to stop them. The central character, John McClane, played by Bruce Willis, he's a a cop, <laughs> and he's basically. Uh, trying to rescue his wife and various other people that are being held hostage by the terrorists. And I like the character. I think he's a decent enough character. He's kind of a cool guy. He's a classic kind of action hero sort of role. You know, stereotypically he smokes. He has those cheesy one-liners. And he's the, he's the perfect archetype of what the main character of this movie should be. So it's fine. I mean, you could say it's cliche, but... I don't really have a problem with it. I think it works well enough for this movie. And Bruce Willis is, is gives a fine performance, and he's definitely <laughs> throwing himself into the stunts as best as he can. What's interesting about this is also that the main character, he does actually go barefoot for most of the story, and there's even a moment when he steps on some glass, and he's pulling the glass out of his foot, and it's, oh, it's, it's, really, <laughs> it's really quite graphic when you see the blood just oozing out of his foot. I mean, my God, the, you feel the pain. You feel the... The, uh, the weight of these sequences and, and the weight of his injuries um, as as he attains more of them. Like I said, this is just such a fun movie to watch. It's not trying to be, you know, an avant-garde artistic masterpiece. It's just trying to have fun, and that's what it does. It's It's got a good plot. I suppose it's, it, it's, it's clever in the sense that it's raising awareness of terrorism, um, which I like, but centrally, I, I just think it's meant to be a fun action movie, and for some reason it's set at Christmas. <laughs> So you could arguably say that Die Hard is one of the most violent Christmas movies ever made. <laughs> and it's funny, they actually end the film with the song, Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So in that sense, it gives the movie a, a certain amount of um, tongue-in-cheek kind of charm to it, which I, which I like, as well as the cheesy one-liners. I have to talk about Alan Rickman, the late great Alan Rickman, who plays Hans Gruber, the, um, the head of the German terrorists. 
his German accent is 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 okay. It's it's good enough. Um, it's <laughs> it's kind of interesting um, seeing him play this role. And I like the name Hans Gruber. It's a, it's definitely a villain name, and he's very menacing. He's he's a real prick. This character. And there's a real really good scene when he's trying to deceive John McClane, and he puts on an American accent to um, pretend that he is not who he is who he really is. Of course, John McClane eventually works out that it is Hans Gruber, but it's it's a good little moment to show that he was uh, he was very clever in thinking on his feet there. And it also shows Alan Rickman's uh, talents as an actor. Bonnie Bedelia as Holly Gennaro McClane, who is um, John's wife, who doesn't appear to do that much in the story other than, well, sit there and be held hostage. But uh, there's a little bit of relationship drama in the first 20 minutes. The first sort of 20 minutes is where we, we get all the character-based stuff, where we get introduced to John McClane and his life, and then his wife, and also they, I think they have a daughter as well, which is which is nice. And there's also some fun frolics with a limo driver, who, uh, who I think is funny. And this limo driver keeps reappearing in the story, and he he's unaware of what's going on until late in the day, like all the things are blowing up and action is... Is, is causing havoc <laughs> around him, and he's just sitting there listening to his music, and oh, he's, he's a funny character. I forget the character's name, but he is very funny. Once we hit that 20-minute mark, bam, we're in, and from there, it's constant action to the very end. I mean, and you would think that it would get very tiresome after a while, but actually, the, there's a lot that goes on, and uh, without spoiling it, there's so much uh, escalation in terms of how how these terrorists operate that um you really you really actually feel the tension of the situation and john has to adapt there's a scene when he's climbing down the elevator shaft and he's using the gun to kind of wedge wedge himself so that he can climb down on the rope of the gun and slide across to the other side of the shaft it's a very clever moment so what i think is most impressive about, about this film is not just the action set pieces but also the ways in which john has to adapt to survive and also to to help everybody in this situation but when the moments of spectacle hit it is pretty awesome i mean that's what the movie's made for it's called die hard for god's sake the only thing i would criticize perhaps is the sound editing i find some of the dialogue to be very quiet i had to keep adjusting my volume all the time the action was really loud and then the dialogue was really quiet so it was a bit hard to hear at point so i think the sound mixing is a bit poor for this film i think they could have they could have redone that but uh Generally, Die Hard is a very, very good movie. I won't, I wouldn't call it perfect, but it like the plot is nothing special, but uh, it's good enough for what the film requires. And this is probably one of the best, you know, popcorn munching action movies that you could watch. And it's actually got quite a good, you know, quite a good story and some good characters. And I mean, Alan Rickman, you know, watch it for him if nothing else. So I will give Die Hard a nine out of ten. And since we've no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It so yes, 9 out of 10 for the first Die Hard. Stay tuned next time when I review Die Hard 2. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you like the review, then please check out my other videos. I've reviewed, you know, TV shows like Doctor Who and a lot of movies. And yeah, please subscribe for more content. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'm Mr. Tarnas 11 See you next time. Bye for now.